Hey, welcome back. Today I have the Sony PVM 1350 Trinitron monitor. Now this is the one single PVM that was shipped properly from my recent eBay purchases. However, it didn't work once it arrived. It had a lot of issues. Let's take a quick look at those problems. Well, first off, the PVM had power supply problems that were preventing it from powering on in the first place. Luckily, we had a spare in the shop. We were able to swap that into place of the broken power supply and get power into the CRT. But the PVM has plenty of issues beyond that. We have the red, green, blue line issue, as well as deflection issues that are causing a terrible image on the screen. Right, thankfully I was pretty lucky and I had that extra power supply in my shop. And that is one of the reasons that I go and buy certain PVMs and CRTs is if I already have some of those parts available in the shop that I know are good, I can easily swap them in for bad parts and test like I was able to on the power supply. So honestly, the power supply is still uh, on the test bench. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with it. And in the meantime, I completely serviced the replacement power supply and it now is installed here and that's what's been running and it's been running wonderfully. But that was not the only board that had issues. I mean, the biggest issues were from the deflection board that you saw in that little clip there. And I'll show you how it looks now in the back of the CRT. But here it is now back installed and it's all one piece from the anode cap and flyback cable here down into the flyback transformer itself and then off into this main deflection board. All that's one big board. There are then cables and connections going to all other places, but this board had some major issues, lots of bad capacitors in there. And what I had to do was I went in and I made a specific cap kit for this. And thankfully I was able to live stream me recapping this chassis all the way from when it had the bad caps in it to removing those, installing new ones, and then testing it. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link for that right here, and I'll put another link for it in the description of this video. So this whole board had to be serviced, and once it was serviced, it was reinstalled, as we saw in the live stream, and it's been working perfectly since then. Another board I had to service was this neck board. I had to go in and, of course, replace the capacitors. Not only that, I reflowed the solder on this board. Now look, if you get into CRTs and CRT repair and maintenance, this is gonna become a real common issue for you. You need to check out the solder quality on the neck board. This can cause all kinds of little picture problems like losing colors and other issues with focus and convergence and it all could just be from a cold solder joint on this board so a lot of times going in and just reflowing the solder on this neck board can solve all kinds of problems all right, so everything inside here has been a service properly and tested and then i've let it run for a few hours just to make sure that all the parts are working and we have no real problems with anything every input down here works which this model has composite composite and S video, and then you have an RGB and sync. Unfortunately, there is no input for component video on this. If we take a quick look at the back of the tube, you will notice some globs of blue RTV silicone. Those are my blobs. Yes, I installed those blobs of RTV silicone. They are there to keep the yoke in place. This one has tended to slip a little bit more than usual, so I had to add extra RTV silicone there. It's also holding in some convergence strips, which I did have to add a couple of new convergence strips to this CRT just to get the convergence to look as best as it possibly could. So there's a look at those convergence strips right there, one on that side, one on that side, and then those globs are in each corner. Um, we also added a glob here to hold the neck board in place, and then the yoke is set and it's all good. Everything is ready to go on the inside of this PVM. All right, I know what you're asking me. How does it look now? Let's check it out. Now the picture looks amazing, but there are some things you should know about this particular PVM. First off, the resolution is 450 TV lines. This is also an NTSC only set, and while it does do 240p and 480i video, 
it will not do any digital video resolutions. So you will get no support for anything over 480i. But it still is a great little PVM. All right, the monitor's fixed and it's been working perfectly since restoration was completed on it. Now, what's going to happen to this CRT? Uh, well, that's kind of up to you guys. Uh, first off, I will be offering this unit uh, for sale listed on my Patreon page to Patreon members. And then if that doesn't sell there, then I'll bring it along with me to the Retro World Expo at the end of August in Hartford, Connecticut and I'll have it on display there at the convention and it'll be available for purchase then uh, if it doesn't sell before then. Now if you are going to be at that convention and you are interested in purchasing this, you can hop onto the Patreon page, sign up, uh, get the PVM and then pick it up at the booth and it'll be ready to go there for you uh, at the gaming convention. So that's just something I thought you might like to know otherwise it's good it's wonderful it's been saved and that's pretty much all there was to this specific restoration now again I did have to go in and do a lot of things with the calibration which is all done through the 240p calibration uh, test suite available from Artemio I'll put a link to how you can get more information on that in the comments below and please go check it out if you ever want to know more about how to check out your screens because that's really an invaluable tool that uh, Artemio provides to everybody for free and everybody else that works with him on his team at the 240p test suite. So that's just the quick shout out. That's what's up with this TV. Again, thank you everybody who uh, comes and watches all these amazing technical uh, CRT videos and enjoys them. If you did enjoy it, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so and uh, you'll also get notifications about our live shows. So thank you again, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time with some more retro content.